Hey friends, welcome back to a new video. So if you saw my last video, you will have known that we moved to Florence, Italy. It's is so exciting. If you haven't seen the video, I'll link it here in the cards or down below. Now today I wanted to kind of roll back time and go back to when I was packing for Florence. So we moved here and it's kind of like a semi permanent move. So we're staying here for a few months and it is more of an unusual packing situation. So I thought I'd share with you what I packed. I am someone that likes to pack more lightly if possible. So I did bring rather few clothes, but more of other things that I will share with you in this video. So I came with a large suitcase that I checked into the flight and with a carry-on backpack. So yeah, those are the things that I brought and now I'll show you guys what I packed in them. A quick disclaimer, I am very disheveled and very stressed and all over the place. In the next clip I'm going to show you, so back when I was packing, I had a lot on my mind, a lot of things to do and I was just all over the place. Just a quick warning. So I've gathered all of the things apart from clothes and immediate toiletries. So let's go through the personal items first. So firstly, I have brought my journal, then also this little sketchbook that I like to sketch in whenever I travel. Then I'm also bringing my yoga mat. This is essential for my day-to-day -day routine. And since it's not going to be a vacation, but I am still going to work and have like a daily routine. I really want to incorporate my uh, workouts and my meditation and just my daily rituals and routines. So I'm bringing my yoga mat with me. Luckily it's pretty thin so it will, I think, hopefully <laughs> fit into the suitcase. Next I'm bringing three books with me. One Inferno written by Dan Brown. This actually is set in Florence which is why I want to read this then Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller and a German book or the German translation called Veronika beschließt zu sterben by Paulo Coelho. Um, I'm not sure what the English title is. Veronica decides to die. So these three books, if this is not going to be enough, I will just trade this Dan Brown book for one at a book exchange. Then a tiny little umbrella always handy. Then I have a fabric mask. We're also going to bring um, those, like the more, um, the ones that filter properly, but I'm also going to bring this one just, just in case backup wise. Then I'm bringing a beret since we're going to be staying into the colder month sunglasses. Then I'm also bringing a backpack as a day day pack day bag and I'm still deciding on whether I want to bring a clutch now that I say it I think it's probably going to be unnecessary but because the backpack is more casual in case we want to go somewhere a little more fancy I don't want to be going in there in my backpack but I don't know if this is too much so I'm going to put this on the maybe pile then I have a makeup bag a baseball cap some pens and pencils and scissors, stationery for um, when I'm working. Then I have like my daily planner that I'm going to bring with me. I use this every single day to write down my to-dos, any um, events or appointments that I have go in here. Then I have all of my important documents in here that I will be needing. Okay, now let's move on to let's call this kitchen items or consumables. So for one, um, we have tea, one green tea and an herbal tea blend. I know you can get tea in Italy, but um, this is just tea that we like and we still have it here. So we thought why not bring it so we won't have to buy any tea there. Then we have some dried dates, figs and some walnuts. This again is just food that we still have here that is still packaged and yeah why not bring it and then we won't have to buy it there. Then let's move on to medical 
stuff, maybe, let's call this. For one, we're bringing a first aid kit or set just in case there's band-aids and bandages and things like that. You never know, this is always good to have. Then I'm also bringing a tiger bomb for any insect bites or sometimes also for headaches. I get headaches a lot. Speaking of headaches, I'm also bringing my trusty ibuprofen. I like to take this. This is actually for children and teenagers. The dosage is just half as strong, but it's definitely enough for me. Then we have a bunch of a lot of vitamin B12 um, for my boyfriend and I. This is enough for the time that we are going to be there. Since we eat vegan, this is really important to supplement our B12. Since then I also have my contact lenses. Now let's move on to some of the bathroom products that I'm going to bring. So I have a shower gel and a hair soap. I know, again, you can buy this there, but just because I still have a backup here, I'm just going to bring my backup. This is like a natural cosmetic thing and a brand I already know. It just makes things easier. Same for my face creams, my nighttime face cream and a daytime with SPF. Just again, backups I already had because I know that this is um, one that you can only get here in Germany. Then we have a sunscreen. The last time we were in Italy, we ran out of sunscreen, but we bought sunscreen there and it was so incredibly expensive, at least compared to here in Germany. I'm not sure why, but so we decided to stock up on sunscreen here. Also bringing my epilator. Then the next category that's called this kitchen or like household items. I'm going to bring at least one tote bag for grocery shopping just so that we can use reusable bags. Then I'm actually also going to bring cleaning supplies like, like cleaning rags and cleaning gloves just because we already have this here. I mean, yes, we could go down to Italy and buy cleaning gloves and cleaning rags there but then that would just be another consumption and then do we just leave that there do we bring it back so we just thought let's not purchase anything unnecessary especially if we already have it and just bring the ones that we already have then for the kitchen a kitchen sponge again we just have a single one here so we don't have to buy those big packages when we're there a kitchen cleaning rag and a kitchen towel now this might be a little strange but also um cling film again just because we already have it and we don't want to consume and buy unnecessary things that we might just end up leaving there or might just end up get thrown away and we want to be as sustainable as possible and this is just cling film that we still have from like four or five years ago, so we're just going to bring this to use up. Yeah, then we're going to switch over to beeswax wrap. We will have to purchase detergent there. I'm not going to bring my own detergent, but I am going to bring my own um, wool detergent since I do have wool clothing and um, I know that we won't be won't use up a whole wool detergent there, so I just brought the one that we already have and packed a little bit of it to go and also a machine washing net I just put my delicates in here then for electronics I have my headphone then also a microphone for when I'm filming my camera battery of course the camera that I'm filming on and a hard drive for editing and of course my laptop I will also bring a tripod but since my boyfriend and I will share that tripod he'll just be bringing that and yeah I think that's it at least for the non-clothing items. So let's pack the clothes. I feel like everything is still a hot mess and I still have so much to do and we're already leaving tonight. Of course we need underwear and socks. I've packed like really like short sneaker socks, but also longer socks that I will need when I wear boots, a pair of stockings, not socking, tights, tights, yeah. Then I have one set of workout gear. For accessories, I have one scarf and two belts. Then I'm packing three t-shirts, four tops, two sets of PJs, 
five dresses. One of them is more formal. We decide to get out, go out and celebrate. Three of them are more summery and one is more of a winter dress since we are going to be there doing the colder month. Then um, I have four, no actually five jackets. So one Patagonia jacket that is more like really warm and insulating but also really light then um, i have like a simple black fleet jacket just because they're so again light and easy to wash and um just very practical then i have a jean jacket this one is not very light but more i guess fashion-y compared to the Patagonia jacket and the fleece jacket. They're more outdoor practical and a rain jacket as well. And to the airport, I'm actually going to wear a, or my trench coat. Um, yeah, I always like to wear the most, the chunkiest, biggest things. So I have more room in my luggage. Then for shorts, I am bringing one pair of just linen shorts and my jean skirt that is short. Then I'm bringing one blouse and this one that I'm wearing right now. And I'm bringing six long sleeve shirts slash knit knits. Um, again, because we're going to be there during the colder months, I'm not 100% sure how cold it's going to get. Um, I know it will be warmer than it usually is here in Germany, but I just, I'm scared that I'm going to get too cold since I get cold so easily. So I'm just going to pack things that I can really layer in case it gets really cold. And yeah, that's it. Oh, and also one pair of jeans. They're still wet though because I washed them yesterday. Yeah, so hopefully those dry until tonight. I'm probably gonna wear what I'm wearing right now to the airport, so this shirt that I wanna bring, then a pair of leggings, also as my workout gear. I would wear my jeans, but again, as I said, they're wet. Um, and I'm going to wear my trench coat and my boots since again, those are the chunkier things. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to pack the clothes and then move on to shoes. So I have a laundry bag here with some clothes that I didn't manage to wash. Then I almost forgot my swimsuit, which I now remember to pack. I also um, remember to pack sleeping mask also my polaroid camera i wanted to bring and for the shoes i'm bringing one just pair of running shoes that are from all, that i can also wear for more sporty outdoor activities then i also brought i already packed them so i'm not going to show it i also brought my blue sandals that have like a little bit of a heel and my white kid sneakers and as i said i'm going to wear my boots to the airport. I keep feeling like I'm forgetting things, like I'm thinking of things here and there. Um, I did do like a really rough packing list, but I don't know, I keep thinking that I'm forgetting stuff. I am going to bring this um, backpack as a carry-on and just have my important things in there, so documents, laptop, camera, my book, um, just things that I want to make sure are safe and not thrown around and things that I need. I'm also going to be packing food in my backpack since we're going to be at the airport around dinner time. I don't want to buy expensive airport food and just anything else that doesn't fit in the suitcase. So maybe these jackets I'm going to pack into the backpack. I think this is it. Um, I feel like this video and my mind currently is all over the place trying to think of like a thousand things I still have to do. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.